Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, Hitchhiking Yeti here. And today's adventure brings me to Claremont, North Carolina, which is only a few miles outside of Hickory. And maybe 15 miles from Statesville area, right off of I-40. And the county we're in is Catawba County. And they have this old bridge here. It's an old covered bridge. It's uh, one of only two all original covered bridges left here in the state of North Carolina. So... We're going to walk back here and take a look at it. This thing was actually built in 1895, so has a few years on it. And it was uh, privately owned all the way up until 1985. So by all means, before it gets dark, let's push forth down the trail and go check out this, this little historic monument, this little covered bridge. Let's go check it out. This is going to be pretty cool. So I just wanted to document. You can see right up here is the parking area where that truck's setting and you just walk down this uh, gravel pathway here this little road and that should take us back to where the covered bridge is check that squirrel out he's just hanging out i seen i heard him over here rustling around in the leaves he's just trying to peek around just to see what i'm doing i think I know one thing, it is spring and summer is right around the corner. It was up to 95 degrees today. And you can tell when it starts getting hot and humidity starts kicking in here in the Carolinas because the mosquitoes come out and they love places like this. Like all this woodsy area, bugs buzzing around my ear already. I feel like I should have sprayed a little bit off maybe before I traversed my way back here to this old bridge. <laughs> So if you can see behind me as we look down the uh, the trail here, you can still see the parking lot pretty easily. It's not that far away, maybe about 80 yards away. So th the bridge itself is not far because right there it is already. We're here. So it's probably maybe 100 yards altogether, and you'll be there. And I'm the only one back here. Wow, that looks kind of creepy. So as we move up to it, right there's what it looks like when we're going through the bridge. Is the Headless Horseman gonna pop out on the other side of it? Don't know, this ain't Sleepy Hollow, but it sure does look creepy enough to be Sleepy Hollow in there. So uh, I thought I would read you something real quick. It says the Bunker Hill Covered Bridge is a National Civil Engineering Landmark and is one of the 221 known remaining lattice truss bridges in the country. Engineering historians can find plenty to be fascinated by the bridge, but casual onlookers are also attracted to the whimsical appearance. Built to cross Lyle Creek in 1894, the bridge didn't receive its status of covered until 1900. Now that's pretty interesting. So it wasn't originally built as a covered bridge. And then it goes on to say that family it was family owned until 1985. It is now in the capable hands of the Catawba County Historical Association who restored it in 1994 and continue to maintain it to this very day as it is a national civil engineering landmark. So there we go. That was a mouthful, but we got through it. So they do have some signage down here on the Bunker Hill covered bridge if you ever come down here there's a lot of cool stuff to read about have all kind of pictures of it back over the years and this was actually what i guess what it looked like back in 1994 the bridge is made of oak wooden pins instead of nails so no nails all wooden pins the roof was originally covered with wooden shingles it was replaced with 10 in 1921. Major restoration happened in 1994. Got a little drawing down there. The artist Barry Huffman. So right here to the right side of the bridge I have like a plaque. Kind of tells you a little bit about what I just read to you a few minutes ago about it crosses Lyle Creek. And that here it actually states that um, 
crosses Lyle Creek on Old Island Four Road, erected in 1894. And then once again over here on this side, right behind us, you have this one. This is for the National Historic Civil Engineering Landmark. If you want to read, you can just pause. So now is the fun part. So now is the fun part to walk across this creepy bridge. And I can't help but to think when I watched the movie Sleepy Hollow with Johnny Depp, and this was before Amber Heard, you know, got a hold of him. <laughs> but uh, he's riding horseback right across a bridge. It looks ex almost exactly like this there in Sleepy Hollow. And he gets about a little more than halfway across the bridge. And then all of a sudden, the this headless horseman character comes up behind him and chases him across the bridge and gets after him. Which in the movie, I mean, spoiler alert, if you've never seen it before, it wasn't really the headless horseman. Uh, it was a fake one. But... Um, still just the same you can hear the the um frogs saying his name ichabod ichabod as he's going across this old creepy bridge and i hope i don't hear no frogs you know ribbiting my name as i go across the bridge so let's go check this thing out together right now all right here we go and right out of the gate quite a bit of graffiti which I kind of expected because you know that's just what people do you know which is pretty sad that you can't respect you know a place like this and just kind of leave it alone where other people can enjoy it is very dark for the most part in this bridge Scared to turn around and look. Okay, we're safe. I can, I'm okay now. <laughs> so we have us a little pathway here. I'm gonna walk down here. It looks like we got us a little gate. Maybe we can see it from the side. Just open this bad boy right up. Walk through, and that is uh, the Lyle Creek. I love strings, they're just so peaceful looking. And I do want to be extra careful when I get into zones like this because you just never know. There's a copperhead or something laying around here. So if you know anything about copperhead snakes, they will not warn you when you get close. Not like a rattlesnake. They just they just hang out. And it is just so green. You can see it through there, man. I was really wanting to get you guys a better, a better view of it. Let me investigate a little bit. All right, we made it down here. We're right along the water now. Now maybe for you viewers, we can get a nice shot of this bad boy up close and kind of see the underbelly of it. So let's check it out. Here we go. And there it is. Here's the covered bridge. That looks pretty cool. Nice little peaceful stream. Yeah, man, that's cool. I bet this really come in handy back in the day when people were on horseback and carriages and things. And it's like, hey, we need to take some shelter because of weather. Have you a little roof over your head. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I like that. So before we venture back through, I wanted to see those wood pins where they don't use nails. I can kind of see stuff like this and I'm imagining that's what they're talking about right here. It kind of holds everything together. And then up there at the top, there's another one. almost like a cork that's pretty cool things like this kind of amazes me just how old it is and god I just can't believe people spray paint this stuff like that man it's sickening I really freaking hate it all 
right, I made it to the other side, back on the safe side. Everything's good. No headless horseman around. I'm gonna quit farting around after some crazy demon does come after us. <laughs> so that will conclude my video today. I really appreciate y'all stopping by and checking this video out. And uh, I think it's pretty neat. I like finding little nuggets like this and uh, little historic items. So I'm glad I was able to share it with you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing if you enjoyed the content today. Hey man, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. I love to read them. I love uh, chatting with you guys in the comment section. It's really cool. And I love to know your point of view of places like this, or maybe you've been to a covered bridge. You know, maybe you went to the one, what was it called, Pisgah? Something like in Randolph County, North Carolina. Maybe you've been to that one. If you have, definitely put in a comment down below because I'd like to know how it compares to this one. And uh, who knows, maybe one day I can make it out your way and check out that bridge. So that being said, I'm all done today. I enjoyed making it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Until next time, I'm the Hitchhiking Yeti. And I will see you, gang, in the next video. Y'all have a good day. I know I've already kind of ended the vlog, but I just had a thought. I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to tell my mother I come and checked out. I come and viewed the bridge, the covered bridge she was telling me about. And then when I tell her, yeah, I went there and I made a vlog video about the bridge. She's like, I can't believe you went. That place is haunted. I'll be like, Mom, everything in North Carolina is haunted, according to you. Everything, that road, that curve, you know, this old house over here. Oh, this old building. It was an old hospital, you know, this crazy doctor, he haunts that whole building. It's North Carolina, everything's haunted. But you know what? I made it. <laughs> A little bonus footage.